بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله we are discussing on chapter five of our book positive Islamic psychology a transcendent model to achieve peace happiness and success in the 21st century and uh, today we are going to discuss how we Muslims can contribute towards the development of the truly uh, good world uh, that means we as Muslims must contribute towards developing a world that is truly good okay so I've just read a few points from our book here chapter 5 once we have the answer as to why all the problems exist in the world we must find a solution the solution also is obvious to remove all the terrible problems in the world we have to stop the wrong messages that is being written into our consciousness of individuals and the collective consciousness of the world society that means we have our individual consciousness and we have the collective consciousness of all the individuals that's living on this earth, the 7 billion human beings there's no other way we cannot have a society that leave the wrong messages and not have these terrible problems that we are facing today more and more of this uh, destruction of the world more and more of chaos within the family system more and more of feelings of depression, anxiety, meaninglessness, suicidal uh, tendencies uh, stress, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and so on so many of those challenges in so far as the psyche of the human being that is being affected by this artificial world that we are facing today so there is no other way we cannot have a society that receives the wrong messages and not have this terrible problem if we have a society that writes only good messages onto the consciousness of the whole humanity from the three sources of the environment all these terrible problems will disappear all right so i'm going to then explain to you what are the areas in which we can understand for example if we talk about an ideal world a world that Allah ordained upon for us to strive towards assuming that this world is a wonderful world we have our three environmental sources from our model you go back to our model and you can understand our model we have the input that affects our perception from the physical realm from the social intra-social inter-social realm and then from our consciousness our inner speech which affects our perception our perception affects our spiritual emotional mental and physical self our rims the four rims that i've explained in the previous video and many other videos earlier on then it will then impact on the behavior of humanity so if you're assuming that this world is all human beings are good so we have within our total past of living history me you our family our children our country our society all the good all human beings that are good and then only maybe a few that is bad that is natural so this is an ideal world that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained because there is good there is evil but here there is a preponderance of goodness say maybe 95 percent good and maybe 30 uh, uh, five percent bad what we do is we create a wonderful jannah on this earth a just good global beautiful Islamic we call it Islamic from because we're talking about the Islamic society so that is the ideal that we are striving for but what is the reality so the reality is this existing world the reality again we have that from the physical realm social intrasocial and inner speech we have human beings at individual family societal global level that have more imprint of all right they have this imprint of badness so everything is moving towards destroying uh, we are destroying our environment we are destroying our family society we are destroying the sense of purpose and meaning in life we are destroying civilizational values we're destroying everything and anything we are destroying it so if we are destroying we have more bad input into our psyche this is ourself all right and our inner speech which will reflect the negative inner speech of evil of greed of consumption of couldn't be bothered what, what happened to do to the world whatever happened to the birds the bees the whales the fishes we couldn't care less so we have a bad world moving towards badness so we have an ideal world moving towards uh, goodness we have a, a bad world that is moving towards badness and towards self-destruction so we have what do you have the result is the universal consciousness of all human beings that is more bad than good we have a bad evil unjust global society that we are facing today uh, we have genocide of such huge level for example the Rohingya Muslims that are being killed by the hundreds of thousands by the military of the Myanmar regime 
oh, they call it genocide now, after so much has been destroyed, so many people have been made refugees to cross over to Bangladesh, but nothing is done. The general, the captains, the army, who is killing children, putting children into fire, raping 50,000 Rohingya Muslim women, having illegitimate babies in Bangladesh now. The whole world is silent. Why? Oh, this is, you know, their problem. This is Myanmar. The same thing. We have the situation in Syria. We have the situation in uh, Sub-Sahara. So many places of the world where people are dying, people are in conflict, people are becoming refugees because the world couldn't care about them. All right? The rich world, the Western world, they only care for themselves. And now they're even worse. You have the far right in Europe or the extra right wing in America. They don't, they want to close the border. They don't want any refugees, poor refugees, to cross over to their so-called beautiful country. Whereas in Islam, this whole world is for all humanity. All humanity, all animals, all birds, all bees have a right to travel. For example, can you stop those crane that is flying from uh, North uh, at Arctic to Malaysia or to Australia? They fly all the way during the winter season to, to, to lay their nest in a tropical country and then they go back to their uh, breeding ground in, in summer. Can you stop them? They are flying. They are going all over the world. Can you stop the butterfly that is coming from Canada? Uh, the monarch butterfly that is coming all the way to South America? You can't. They are flying. So, we have been created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have a free world. And to have this free world, you must have our consciousness, our perception in terms of our human being, we must move towards good world. A good world, a just world, a beautiful world, a fair world, a world that every one of us can live in peace, happiness and success. A world that is like we are trying, striving as our vision and mission to create the goodness in this world. That is our role as a Khalifa. So when Allah created this world, He created us a Khalifa and He gave us three roles. Remember, I have explained to you our Khalifa model on being the Khalifa of Allah. We have the whole chapter on being the Khalifa of Allah. Alright, chapter 3, you can read about how we can then harness the idealism of Islam to build this 21st century, not to destroy it, not to become terrorists, not to, uh, to harm others, not to cause injustice, not to kill, not to murder, not to bomb innocent people. Those are aberrations. They are not Islam. Those are not Islam. Don't ever say they are Islam. They are not Islam. Those are the aberrations of people who are misled, misguided, who just use the word label Islam. So if you say about IS, Islamic State, that's not, they are not Islamic at all. Uh, so this thing, we have to just transform the mind of Muslims, especially the young people. So I'm trying to do this through the video that we try to recreate goodness on this earth. So Muslims must be the promoters of peace, of happiness, of... Uh, Love, of care, fair, the five values that we try to teach as Khalifa Allah, love, peace, care, fair, share. We must have peace, we must have love. Our love, the greatest love is love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then love of the Prophet, love of ourselves and our family, love of our society, love of all human beings on this earth, love of all creatures on this earth, love of what Allah has ordained upon us. So we have this love. Then we have to create peace. Again, peace for as a deen, because Islam, Al-Islam is a deen of As-Salam, the deen of peace. So we must create peace with ourselves, our family, our society, all countries in the world, all human beings, all animals, all beings that Allah has created in this universe, including the spiritual beings, which are uh, the angelic being and the other beings that Allah has created. So we have peace. Then we got to have, we have love, peace, care, we must care for each other not to hate each other, not to harm each other. Fair, we try to distribute everything as we can. And then we share this world. And if we can do that, what we do is, we have a world that is more good than bad. So we are going back to this ideal. So we must move towards goodness, uh, being the Caliph of Allah, always striving, remember, the three principles of being the Caliph of Allah, striving to make ourselves good, helping others to be good, making the world good, changing first ourselves, then our family, then our community, then our country, then the whole world, all of us striving to make our vision and mission in life to strive for goodness for all, regardless whether they're Muslims or non-Muslims. We live and share this earth, this good earth with everybody. We invite them to Islam, yes, but we are not aggressive, we are not uh, confrontational, we are not here 
to force them to, be, to become Muslims because Allah tells us Alright? And Allah tells us also so Allah gives us this Quran as a healing, as a mercy for us to spread this beautiful message of Islam. And if they are not, uh, they, they dis discard us or they don't follow us, it is up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to judge them. Don't we become judgmental and start saying, oh, this is person is a kafir or this person is a murtad or this person is a munafik. Uh, which is happening within a lot of our uneducated Muslim brothers and sisters leave that judgment to Allah everybody who says the shahada la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah is a Muslim treat him or her as a Muslim and then accept him or her regardless of their sectarian view whatever view let Allah judge because in this area where we are confronting all the evils of this dunya we have to bring all Muslims together, not only bring all the Muslims together, we have to bring all those people who believe in God, even people of other faith, Christian, Buddhists, Hindus, Taoists, whatever, they also have values. And try to bring all those people without values to some sort of value system that we can all strive to make this world good, helping others to be good, and make sure that we develop this universal consciousness of goodness, of a truly and fully wonderful world, to make this world good, as ordained by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all his good creatures on this earth, insha'Allah.